We are partying oh, wow. today, my friends. There are so many great desserts <laughs> out there, but there is no doubt that the ones we're making today are the absolute goat. No, truly. <laughs> we're using goat cheese in all of the sweet treats that Chef Aleka is making today. But first of all, you got to blow out your candle. Yes! This is the problem that when you're a chef, you have to bring your own cake. So you, <laughs> and you, candle. <laughs> so you made your own cake. We're going to have you blow out your candle because today is your one year anniversary. Yes. Coming thank on you. Talk Pittsburgh. Yay! Yay! Oh, well, how fun. We're so glad to have you. It's thank been amazing. You. No, really. Thank you. But really, I want to thank. You know, I love you so much, Please. Kelly. But thank you, Heather. It's been so much fun with you this past year. I know. So I theme this out for you today. Because you know I love goat yeah, cheese. Yeah, I know you like goat <laughs> cheese. So we're going to start <laughs> off. I talked to Kelly. She knows what she has to do. We're going to start off with this Ready. dessert I developed a while ago called the goat. The greatest of all time. Yes. So what it is, it is milk chocolate mousse, goat cheese mousse. Mm. And what Kelly's going to do is she's going to put some toasted pistachios around it, and on the top, some pomegranate seeds. That looks lovely. So I made it in this thing with the mm. removable bottom. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it's frozen, so I, you can go ahead. You can I'm do it. Ready. You're ready. You <laughs> set that to, down my way put whenever me it's in. Done. <laughs> And what are you working on here? So we're working on here. I was talking to Kelly about my pie of the month club and how when you're serving pies or cakes and people are like, I just want a little slice. Mm. Or somebody's like, I like apple pie, I like peach pie. You could make a pie in cupcake pans. Oh, nice. So that's what these are. These are all individual mini pies that you can say, you know, these are going to be the people that like the apple. These are going to be for the people that like the cherry. So it's a fruit pie with the all butter crust. Mm. And so while you guys are eating and doing it, I rolled out my all butter pie. You got something else in the way coming oh, thank there you. too. Mm -hmm. And my all butter pie dough that I use in most of my pies for the pie of the month. Club. I try. I like that with the sweet and mm. the salty and the crunchiness oh my God. from the pistachio. It's incredible. It is the definition of sweet and savory. That's why, yeah, I'm really kind of doing like the sweet and savory. <laughs> we are <laughs> partying. <laughs> Woo! So I got, like, really mm. like that. And if you can't find pomegranate, you don't have to put it on there. It's pretty seasonal. Oh. Or instead, you can reduce some pomegranate juice and do that as a sauce. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome. really what's available at the time. This is the lovely. last thing I'm going to do with the cake is I made some goat cheese cherry no churn ice cream, which means you don't have to have an ice cream machine to make it. That threw me for a loop. Yes. You don't have to have an ice cream machine to make it. You just put some goat cheese and some sweetened condensed milk in a mixer with a paddle attachment. Can I you try get, this? Yes. You get that combined and then you layer it in a pan, I just used a cake pan with the goat cheese condensed milk mixture, some cherries, kind of swirl that in. You might be onto something. <laughs> you like it? It's so creamy because you get that creaminess from the goat cheese. It I'll is. I'll give you one. I'll, I'll, yeah, just I'll scoop slide it over there. Yeah, you. please do. Put that here with all your other goat cheese yeah, things. Oh. Isn't that what's so beautiful about goat cheese? How creamy it is. And yes. So you and you want your ice cream to have that same kind of creaminess. That's Perfect. It's yeah, so beautiful. Gotta, they're trying to do like the tartness of the cherries, the tartness of the goat cheese with a little bit of sugar in there too. It's a perfect summer dessert, and I like it that it's no churn. Oh, as me too. Well. Anytime I can make right. ice cream. So, so you rolled this out. So you, what you want to do is pretty thick, but you, you don't have to have a, a cookie cutter. You just want to find a glass that's kind of the same. So you can kind of stretch it out, and then you push it down like this. I'm not gonna, this is super like way too thick, but what you can do is you can work it in, it. you stretch yeah. it in, you don't have to put any um, spray in there because this is an all butter crust. You put your fillings in there, you and then bake you're good it, to go. and then you're good to go. That's great. Well, congratulations again on an amazing year. We have loved trying your recipes, oh, sharing so your good work with everybody at home. Thank you so much for your beautiful skill in sharing Thank it with you. all of us. Thank you. And if you would like to book Chef Aleka for a private event or an at-home cooking class, we're going to have those details on our website, kittyka.com slash